Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more operation in circular linked list using Python. So in our previous session, we have discussed about uh, different operations like how to create the circular linked list, how to display the nodes of a circular linked list, how to insert a node either at the beginning or ending or at a particular specific position. And also we have seen the deletion operation. That's, uh, that means uh, deleting a node from beginning or uh, ending or from a specific position right so in this session we'll go with a, a another operation that is a searching so how can we search a given element whether it is available in the given circular linked list or not so circular linked list and the operation is searching so we know that searching means to search for the given element whether it is available in the circular linked list. So directly I am taking the nodes. So as we have discussed in our previous sessions. So if you draw the diagram it would be very easy to write the code. Okay. So unless you draw the diagram you need to think more right. Imagine more. So in order to avoid that simply we can draw the diagrams. So I am taking some four nodes so the address a thousand for first node two thousand for the second node three thousand for the third node and four thousand for the fourth node and let us take uh, the address of next node two thousand will be here so that link will be established three thousand places in the second node address so a link and again here there is will be a link and if this is the last node it holds the address of the first node because it is a circular link list so there will be a link from first node to, I mean last node to first node. And here as usual, the head points to the first node and the tail points to the last node. So this is the circular link list which we are having. So I am not uh, talking about insertion, deletion and creation and display. Right? Directly I am using this searching operation. So I will post the links of all the remaining operations in the description. Just go through that and you can uh, analyze that one. Right? Now, what we have to do? So, we need to take the element. Let us take an element need to be searched. So, let us take the element 30. Element 30. So, let us go with the last element. Let us go with the last element. Okay. Now, what we have to do? So, we need to travel from first node to last node by checking this 40 with all the data. So 40 should be compared with the 10, 40 should be compared with 20, 40 should be compared with 30, 40 should be compared with 40. Right? So for that we need to traverse the pointer from first node to last node. So that's why we are just, the first step is initialize the head to some temporary variable. So obviously one temporary variable will be pointing towards the head. Now we need to modify this one because the head should always point towards the first node so we should not change the head so in order to traverse this one what we have to do so we need to compare we need to compare if okay anything we can write so element is equal to is equal to some temp dot data so if it temp is thousand temp dot data means 10 temp dot next means 2000 so i am writing here so let us take temp means temp means 1000 temp dot data means 10 temp dot next means so 2000 right so you need, you need to know so what what is 1000 Okay, when we will get the 1000, when we will get a 10, when we will get the 2000. So if you want to get the 1000, you need to print temp. If it is a 10, temp.data. If it is 2000, temp.next. So you have to compare this element with this 10. So 10 means temp.data. So if it is true, simply initialize the flag. 
is equal to 1. So take the flag is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. Right? And simply you can break. Break. That means you need not travel for remaining elements. You need not travel for remaining elements. And if it is false, okay, if it is false, what we have to do? We need to change the temp to temp.next. For example, if you consider this one, we have the element is 40. So 40 double is equal to temp.data. That means 40 double is equal to 10. Okay, here temp is nothing but 1000. So element is 40. 40 is equal to, is equal to 10. False. So if it is false, we have to move this temp towards the second element. So for that, we need to write temp is equal to temp dot next temp dot next and simply use a count value because in order to get the position count is equal to count plus one okay just give the count also okay so in order to display the position right so this is just for displaying the position so here you can observe right temp dot next count plus one so temp dot next so immediately this temp will be pointing here what happens now again we have to repeat the same process okay so element 40 is equal to is equal to temp dot data so 40 double is equal to 20 false temp is equal to temp dot next again it moves here Okay, again, 30 double is equal to temp dot data. 20, th th uh, sorry, 40 double is equal to 30. Okay, 40 double is equal to 40, uh, sorry, 30. Temp dot data means 30. So that is also false. Again, temp is equal to temp dot data. So temp dot next. So the temp value will be pointing here. Now, we need to stop whenever the temp value reaches the tail. Okay, until that process, that means already we can see the temp has been reached from starting node to ending node. So we have to write the condition y temp dot next, sorry, temp is equal to is equal to tail. So you can observe here, temp is 4000 and tail is 4000, that means both are same. Then you need to stop here so you need to stop here right and one thing remember we have not compared this one we have not compared this one we have compared every element till the one element less than the tail so it comes out of the loop and here again use check the condition okay if check the same condition element is equal to is equal to temp dot data because after completion of this uh, uh, loop the temp value points at the tail so here it becomes sorry not equal to whenever it is equal to the comparison is not done okay the comparison is not done so up to here the comparison is done but up to here whenever the comparison is not done up to here the search is not successful we have to compare the element with the last node also so for that purpose after coming out from the while again check for this one element is equal to is equal to temp dot data if it is yes so go with the flag is equal to one flag is equal to one so that's it so finally based upon the flag value if flag is equal to is equal to one so print find found element found else print not found not found that's it very simple so we are traveling from starting node towards the end node so for example if it is 30 if it is 30 or uh, let us take a 20 20 right so initially the temp value is pointing towards the head so after executing this uh, first one right now while temp not equal to tail what is the temp value 1000 what is the tail value 4000 not equal true 
So it enters into the loop. Element is equal to is equal to temp dot data. Element is twenty. Twenty is equal to is equal to temp dot data. Ten. Not true. So temp is equal to temp dot next. So temp is equal to temp dot next means two thousand. Now the temp value is two thousand. So the temp points here. Sir. And again, it will it will repeat the loop. Okay, it will repeat the loop. So again, you can observe temp. Here the temp is two thousand, not equal to ten, not equal to four thousand. True. Again, the control enters into the loop. Element twenty. Twenty double is equal to temp dot data. Twenty twenty. Yes. True. Flag one break. So you know that break means automatically it will come out from the loop. Okay. If it is break, automatically it will come out from the loop. And simply. So you can observe here element is equal to is equal to temp dot data, right? True. Flag one. It comes here and found. So it's a very clear. And uh, if you draw the diagram, the logic will be very clear, right? So hope you understood. I will uh, execute the code in the interpreter. So let's move on to the interpreter. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the theoretical part of uh, search function. So we'll write the search function here. So def search and uh, just one parameter that is a self a default parameter and go in uh, prompt for the input. So which element we need to search. So just give the input function. So enter element to be search in circular linked list. Right. So after getting the x, just start the code. So temp is equal to self dot head. So initialize a head to temp, and uh, initialize a count is equal to zero, and uh, initialize some flag is equal to zero, and now travel from and uh, travel from starting node to ending node until the temp not equal to t. Okay. So what we have to do? We have to compare the x value with temp dot data that means every element every element if it is true simply initialize flag is equal to 1 and uh, break so it will come out from the loop else simply just shift temp to temp dot next that means next element and also count is equal to count plus 1 right and come out from the loop and now check if x is equal to is equal to temp dot data then initialize the flag is equal to 1 right then or simply you can write else okay else x is equal to flag uh, temp dot data it's a flag is equal to 1 and here you can write if uh, compare this one flag is equal to is equal to 1 that implies so in any case so in this case if it is a flag is equal to 1 the element is found in this case the flag is equal to 1 element is found so if flag is equal to is equal to 1 uh, simply you can say x is found at position count plus 1 right else print x is not found in circular linked list so here we have taken a count plus 1 because here we are we have initialized a count to 0 so obviously it will be 1 okay if for example if the first element is a, a successful element that means uh, the search element is a first node so the count is 0 so the count never be incremented so here it will come break and it, here we will get 0 as a position right so that's why here we have initialized with 0 so we have to increment it so if the element is found the element position will be count plus 1 okay see you can observe l dot search we can write here of oh, invalid syntax okay yes no problem else uh, here we'll write if x is equal to is equal to temp dot data then automatically we'll get it right yes 
so let us take some 20 so 20 is found at a position 2 so you can observe 20 is in position 2 and for example 10 so 10 is found at a position 1 so let us take this minus so a little bit confusion so 10 so 10 is found at position 1 and let us take a 30 30 is found at position 3 and 40 40 is position 4 and 50 50 is at position 5 and 60 so 60 is not found in circle link list right so hope you understood so if it is flag is equal to 1 automatically it will come out from the loop and uh, directly it will check for the next one okay so if if it is not true automatically it will check for the last last element so this comparison is for last element okay if the search element is last then this comparison will be done this comparison will be successful right so in python we can write a else part in iterative statements too right so hope you understood this one so once again i'll execute so if you want to get a 40 so 40 is found at position 4 1 2 3 4 fourth position right and it's a 50 so fifth position right so hope you understood this one so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, uh, search function so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you re really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much